Hello, good afternoon. My name is Mauricio and she is... Sara. We are going to have an interview about the documentary The Social Dilemma that is from Netflix. What did represent the documentary for you? I think that it has a good meaning because it tells us about social networks and their manipulation in us. I agree with you because they explain us how the social media can control us. The next question is, what is the purpose of the documentary? The purpose is to make up see the bad and the good of this and all that their use entails. For me, the purpose of this documentary is to inform us how the social media can control us and there is strategies to do it. Do you believe that big companies are spying us? I am a faithful believer that large companies or giant companies are the owners of our information and photos. Therefore, I believe that we must be careful when handling our information and above all confidential. I agree with you. How real is the reality in the documentary? It is quite real and genuine since it has interviews with people related to the topic that are social networks. And so the information I suppose is genuine and reliable. For me, the documentary shows us a reality controlled by our cell phones and by the social media. What other social dilemmas do we have? Overexploitation is a serious problem, which I believe should be given a certain degree of priority. The researches are not infinite. For me, the most popular social dilemma right now is the vaping, because they try to replace the cigarette with vapes, and almost all the young people have one. Any idea about what can we do? I think that a better parental planning instruct on how to carry out this correctly. That's a good way to inform the little kids. Did you feel identified with the documentary? The truth is since I use social networks too much and I feel that although my information is not fully exposed, I know that the companies own it and that causes me a bit of fear and discomfort. Not knowing how much they know about me, that's why I identify with that documentary. I feel the same that you because we don't know how much the, the companies know about us. Would you like to participate in a social change and in which one? Um, yes, I would like a lot of to participate in racism change. I feel that it is too generous and empathic, fighting for the rights of those who, who are not here. Yes, racism is a big problem in the world. It's good that you want to help. Tell me, what is your conclusion? I think that my conclusion is that social networks have advantages and disadvantages. Therefore, we must be responsible for them and learn about their correct and good use in order to get the most out of them and try to be good internet users. I also want to say my conclusion, like you say, the social network have advantage and disadvantage, but if you know how to use them well, you can have a good time on them. What other good documentary do you recommend? I recommend Our Planet, The Story of Diana, The Alcacer Case, and among others, the commentaries. In a scale of one to ten, how much would you give this, to this documentary? Mm, I will give a nine, because although I think it is quite well explained, I could still go deeper into some topics or aspects. For me, it's a lot like a nine because they put people that know a lot of this team and also they are ex-workers from companies like Facebook, Google, Instagram, etc. Do you consider yourself addicted to the social network? Being honest, I consider myself very addicted, but my purpose is to be able to increase in this more and more, to be able to have some more mental health. For me, I, I think I am not addicted, but I use them frequently because I am not all the day in the social networks, but I am a frequent user. Are you an active person on social networks like Instagram or Facebook? On Instagram, yes, 
Facebook, I don't use it because I think it's boring and old fashioned. And Instagram is more current or actual. Like you, I am. Um, I use Instagram, but Facebook, I don't use them. I used to use it, but now I don't use it more. And thank you for being here. And that's all for us. And I hope you have a good time and see you in the next video. Thank you. Would you like to work on a company like Google? Answering your questions, I will say that I would love to work in a company like Google since I consider it to be an excellent way to relate and learn more about social networks, its algorithm, and among more aspects. Do you think social networks are manipulating us? I consider that social networks are extremely manipulative and deceitful. They, offers, they offer us something and give us something to, totally opposite and in many aspects. They are a dangerous place if we don't know how to use them well. What part of the documentary interested you the most? The part I liked the most of the documentary, I think, was when they talk more deeply about Google and interview company employees. It is a company that I find really surprising and incredible and impressive and above all, very interesting. Where are the companies mentioned on the documentary? The mentioned companies on the documentary were Google, Facebook, Instagram, WhatsApp, Zoom, one of the most important um, social networks on the actual days, and Messenger that now is part of Facebook.